<laughs> I like it. We on, boys? Banger Richard. Think, Banger think, I think um, the show is underway. I think we're ready to get gooing. Goo well, welcome back to Dude Life TV. Welcome back. Specifically, between two dudes. There's three of us today, though. Yeah. But so, uh, you're between us, dude. So, that is true. Uh, we have some continuity going yeah. for us. Uh, I'm between you. Ep- episode 10, I think. Uh, I'm back up on the screen today. Uh, I shouldn't. But uh, we are here with our buddy, Andrew. How you doing? How's it going, everybody? I'm doing great. Doing great. <laughs> Good, man. Good. <laughs> I haven't seen you since before this pandemic. Uh yeah, like I I recall the last time that we saw you it was twenty nineteen uh, fall. Yeah, like that that was a that was a long ways away. Like uh uh we were playing a show at uh, AJ's gr- uh, uh girlfriend's grandma's house. Yeah, and uh we uh I remember you uh Rivermouth uh, opened for us. Yeah, and, like uh yeah. that was just a really fun night. Uh, Dude, that was a hell of a time. I, uh, I really don't drunk. remember too much from the later on that evening because I recall like we there there were shots being so given out with like hot I was actually <laughs> yeah. I was actually drunk when I got there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh really? Okay, so I actually have a little bit of a like a pre story to of uh, getting to that show, if you don't mind. I, I go start far away, dude. First off, before I want to get into it, we did have to put Dylan down. He was he got uh he got the syphilis, so we just had to we had to put him down in the back alley. So he's not yeah. with us this week. He'll be he'll be back though. Yeah. Um uh, he's gotta go off to the the So the, the hospital. The day of that show, which was Halloween by the way, You're right for, uh, for yeah. the listeners out there, was it the day of? Uh, it was the day of. Okay. And the reason I know that is because I went to go stop by the liquor store on the way to the show because I was having like nerves, like I had bad nerves because I hadn't played my own music in front of people ever. Right. 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 And it was just me. I didn't have a band, so it was just me getting up on stage. I was a little bit nervous, so I went to go pick out some liquors. And I decided to go to a Gomer's, which is a big fucking liquor store yeah, over it's a in surplus. Get Lenexa. it at Gomer's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went there. It was like a mall I went into. And there was this like island where there's this uh, really, like, she was in a great mood. Uh, this heavier set lady was just fixing drinks, but they were like gothic style, like wine mixer drinks. Mm-hmm. And as I was walking over past her to the hard liquor, she signals me over. And it's like, hey, hey, honey, hey, yeah, basically, like, <laughs> like that kind of like flirty attitude, like, hey, honey, like, flirty I got southern some, mama voice. Hey, honey. I'm, I'm over here pouring drinks. Uh, drink. Do you want one of these? And I'm like, I can just drink in here. Yeah. And, and she's like, free samples. Yeah. It's like, yeah, just doing free samples, seeing which ones you uh, like the most. And I was like, well, I'm kind of on my way to like a show right now. So, and she didn't get the context of that. Right. Um, so I like. I don't really want to get like drunk, drunk. And she's like, "Well, okay, I'll just give you one or two. She pours me five separate drinks. Okay, <laughs> is this like hard That's, liquor drinks? The, well, yes. So okay. it's it's wine mixed with hard liquor mixed with like a juice of some sort. Okay, um, a mixed drink. Yeah, they were just mixed drinks, and that sounds kind of good though. And yeah, so she passes one to me. It's like this gothic like style. I think like. What is that wine brand? It's like Apothic Black Apothic or something. Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. What but does that even mean? doesn't matter. Uh, she starts giving me this drink. I like the first one. And I'm like, yeah, this one's actually pretty good. And she's like, here's this one. And I'm like, okay. This has to be it, though. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. So I finish that one. And she gives me, like, the third or fourth one. And I'm like, okay, uh, after this, I really have to go. I'm playing a show. And she's like, oh, you're playing a show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I oh. figured I, I didn't know if that would, like, get across. I, you know, I wasn't trying to, like, be a dick or something. And she's like, well, like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I'm a blues musician, all this and that. And then over this, this is like a two drinks course conversation <laughs> where I kind of tell her who I am, what I'm doing. Right. And... I start to feel a buzz. So I'm like, hey, I've got like 30 minutes of driving ahead of me. I got to get my alcohol and like go now. Oh, so geez. I get my alcohol. I buy it there. And as I'm driving, I find out I'm actually pretty drunk now. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so, yep, drunk driving story. So I drive oh all the way <laughs> over to your show. I'm a little confused when I get there because I'd never been there. Right. It was like I, a farm. I, I don't with, think like. Even any of us have been there. Yeah, like, it was like a farm, that. and there was like 
about a hundred people there. Oh, there was, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, there was a lot of people there. There were there was there was a fucking parking lot. Dude. I don't know how many people were there, but yeah, they they like reserved this whole field part where everybody else was parking, and then they told me to go park somewhere yeah. else, being a musician. Right. And so I get there, and VIP, dogs and shit. Yeah. Yeah. And so I get there, I I do my my little setup, and I have my flask full of like my whiskey and stuff. So by the time I got on stage, I was officially drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> yeah, I could tell oh. the performance was just a little uh, semi-rocky. Well, and that had its reasons too. But it was, it was the reason my performance was so rocky is because like we were playing in evening outside on October. My tuning was constantly like I, every I song I had to retune yeah. because like the temperature changed. What like you guys got you lucky in? because. You guys went on when the temperature was relatively stable, right. where it was just cold. Mm-hmm. I started and it was warm. I ended and it was like 40 degrees. <laughs> well, not to mention we're a band, so it's a lot easier to yeah. kill time to tune and stuff. Yeah, and I, yeah, it definitely wasn't a good show yeah. on my part, but it was... Um, oh, and we didn't. We, you didn't have any monitors. I only had no. the, the house speakers. Yeah, I didn't. So I didn't have any monitors. It was just me and my self. acoustic. We didn't, we didn't Honestly, have like for what it was, you still anything. killed it. Yeah, for what oh, it was, thanks. dude. Yeah. I, I wanted to hop on the drums. I no, remember people, that. No, people liked you. Good. It was good. Yeah. Good. good. Works. Grandma liked you a lot. So that's all that that's matters. Nice. She's winning through the party. Round two. Sweet. So. Uh, but yeah, you know. I I got there and played that show, and some people came to support me. This chick that was dating another dude that I was dating at the time, um, <laughs> which we we'll talk about on another podcast that I cut out. But yeah, uh, she was there, and uh, it was a great night. Yeah. <laughs> you guys sounded wonderful. Thank you, man. But yeah, no, a lot of like the songs I was playing, like because it was just like turning cold, my fingers kept sticking to my strings as my guitar was already like going out of tune, and I'd never played an outside show where like this is. In yeah. the environment. Yeah. I'm always in like Dude, we have an outdoor show story. You remember it was I don't know if it was Edge Fest one, I think it was Edge Fest one. No, that two. was Edge Fest two. Edge Fest two we, where sort of rained it got Fest. rained out. It almost oh. rained out. So what happened is <laughs> all three of us we were playing our show. Yeah. It, we have pictures of this shit. The wind's fucking blowing its its ass off. As soon as our set no, it wasn't when our set ended. We were able to play, another band was able to play, but during the final guys set uh this big fucking thunderstorm came rolling through um what what city was that uh, Rantoul. Rantoul. Rantoul, kansas mm. yeah mm. so okay yeah. just like kind of outside ottawa like by, like 15 yeah. miles yeah. and um like right outside of all i remember is we had to get tarps to cover up the band's equipment the like, fucking band you were, was you were out there for at least a good two hours i was outside tarps, two man. hours holding a tarp in the middle of a fucking thunderstorm, getting pissed rained on my girlfriend, ex-girlfriend is sitting in the fucking house, and, uh... I feel like such a bitch for that night, dude. Well, hold on. The, this, this is where it gets fucking funny. So I'm sitting there holding the tarp, and we, everyone's doing their thing to make sure everything's gonna be safe, because there's a fucking tornado coming or something. Yeah. So there's a hole in the tarp that I'm holding, and I'm looking through the tarp. The fucking band that we're saving their equipment from the rain for is inside, just chilling. Taking shots, smoking weed, in underneath this fucking tarp fortress of all their equipment. I bet you wanted to kill them. Man. I just fucking left. I booked it to a uh, Slicer's garage, mm-hmm. and I just sat there in the garage and smoked cigarettes until uh, I got could get a signal. I could text my girlfriend like, "Hey, get in the fucking car. We're leaving." So, like, um, it was a nightmare, dude. I, I just Did they ever play. No. no, like we were the only band that got to play a whole entire set, I and think, here we were complaining yeah. about being the opener, yeah. and, and we <laughs> here we were getting the last laugh because we were yeah. the ones that actually played our show, and we were done. Nice. It was also a really good show too. Yeah, it was we a badass it. show. But right? oh, you, yeah. our, we got pictures of him with the, his with the wizard hat and the fucking oh, beard hell on with yeah, the wind man. blowing. Back when I was doing my bits. So what I did was I um, the other the second band something happened. They Wake needed to use I, they needed to use my guitar for something. Which one? So waking the sleeper. I I ran Awakening? up on stage, grabbed my Waking guitar, put it away, and then just like grabbed a bunch of beer and went underneath the stage. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I was underneath I the stage under for like two hours, just drinking. AJ, <laughs> and then just, AJ, I remember that. You 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 prepared well. <laughs> you prepared well, my friend. I remember I was tr- this was before we got all the tarps up, 
And before it got really <laughs> bad, um, my that's when the girlfriend went inside, and I'm trying to find AJ. Where the fuck is I? Burke went inside, I think, too. I don't remember, but no, I was by myself, just drinking for like two hours. Yeah, and he's under there, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, I'll be back, and I never returned. <laughs> okay, now here's my story of what happened. Like, uh, uh our yeah. buddy uh, Chris Sakovic, uh, the one that got me into welding in the first place. Yeah. Uh, he was with us, and I, I think, uh. I don't know if this was the one when he brought... No, this was not when he brought Fritz with him. Uh, we that would just, have been dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah it would have been. Because that dog is like... like He he can get pretty wild sometimes. Yeah. But there, like, he and I were just chilling in the Crown Vic, my car. And uh, we were just waiting for the rain to die out. But it was gonna, it was taking forever. Like, we, yeah. we were there for at least two hours. But I saw people just, like, getting out leaving. And, like, I remember the first person... Like, like the first people to get the hell out before the rain started was uh, your brother... Cooper, yeah, and and his girlfriend Caitlin, <laughs> like they, they 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 were just able to take off, and I'm just sitting there looking at them like, lucky. Yeah. <laughs> but, like we got to help out with the bands and shit and all this shit, so we're like, stuck there. Yeah, but, but that's when I'm just sitting there going, well, if I'm not if if we're not gonna get out of our car, we're gonna stay here and wait. Like we are not gonna just leave, right? Like and just leave these people helpless. And uh, I just remember that night there was like a couple. I think it was like friends. Of uh of McNabb Michael McNabb's or something with somebody, represent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh uh he just got out and started pissy like <laughs> at, like it through the gate and everybody saw what he was doing and they all just started honking their horns <laughs> at him and he's screaming woo and, and he was just looking back at them like stop looking at me and he just kept pissing pissing Dude. and then another person got out and just started screaming at the sky going. God, why are you doing this to me? Do you see what you are doing to me, God? And he gets back in the car. What is it about a fucking a hardcore thunderstorm that just, it's like crack energy. Like it, just I gets, love it. it just gets rednecks horny as shit, I right? I love uh-huh. thunderstorms. I love sitting in the truck <laughs> while it's just fucking going hard and listening to music, smoking a little weed, you know, just... Mm-hmm. Maybe drinking a little bo- booze. <laughs> booze. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just such a. I mean, I guess when you think about it, we don't get rain as often as we get sun. Like so. we True. were. It's rare. Like so. it, that was a real crazy storm. I just remember getting out as soon as the rain stopped and seeing all the stuff that got rained on, and Mike a Slicer just standing there looking at everything. Oh, like fuck. Well, <laughs> shit. And you should have got my deposit back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was great though. Great. Good show. times, man. Good times. Edge Fest one for number one. That was a badass show. We had a huge stage. Dude. Mm-hmm, yeah. Before we had fireworks going off in the background as when the wind we were was playing. Up. Like, like I, I kind of feel like those fireworks were meant for us. I miss those. Were some good videos he took with us. Those we still got heart of gold. Yeah. Oh, speaking <laughs> of videos, I also want to know like if there's audience members that have been a fan of this channel for a very long time. You probably recognize Andrew because this is on Dude Life TV. Remember, Andrew is not. An alien to dude life. In fact, you were no. you were here in the very early stages of this YouTube channel. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I yeah. was. He, like for a he few episodes, me, yeah. He, re- yeah. He, re- he was the one that originally helped me set this room up for music. Yeah. So and I I don't know if you, I posted that video, but um, I was going to. Uh, so yeah. Not sure if you did or not, but yeah. I do remember like like us like put, like you putting these uh, guitars up on the walls, and it's like dude, yeah. like like what what better wall decoration than fucking guitars, man? <laughs> yeah. Like <laughs> you know, a fucking uh, Fender Squire Bullet and a P- sticker bombed P bass. None of um, us actually know how to play; they're just there for decoration. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like uh, uh, that Squire Bullet, they are actually making a 40 year anniversary reissue of. Really. Uh, they're probably not gonna be made in Japan like that one was. That's so that's why, like that guitar right there, like that's like yeah, uh, that. your golden trophy, man. Like hold on to that thing forever. I think it's still about the same value as it was ten years ago, but it's gonna appreciate. Mm, I, I hope it's so. It's going to. Uh, for those that don't know, it's a 1982 uh, H2 yep, Squire yep. Bullet. Look at those babies. Yeah, I love these colors. But, yeah, oh. like, I I, I want to get one so bad. Like, Cream I'm so blue. To trade in my five string just to get one of those classic buys. That gold right. pick guard. That's nice. Andrew, I like it. Oh, sorry. You're good. Oh, a Telecaster huh. edition too. Well, that's cool. They like they're doing the whole enchilada. They got the jazz bass, the P bass, Jazzmaster, everything. 
Wow. Hey, look up my uh, guitar behind me and see if it's ga- got any more value in it. Make uh, sure you type in Squire Bullet, Bullet Strat. Bullet. 1982 H2. Or MIJ, Made in Japan. As a star. On what year? 1982. You, you spelled That's star. Like, dude, like, look at that. Square. They're already in the multiple hundreds. And yeah, Squire Bowl and H2 Sunburst, 1983. That's it. Look at that, right dude. There. My bet. 83, guys. My bet. $1,693. I bought it for $150 at Blue Stabak. That was a steal, dude. <laughs> yeah. Have you have you done anything with the... Um, oh, that's the Fender. No, that's, that's the it's, same. It's, it's a oh, Fender yeah. Squire. It's, just, it's missing the pickup Squire covers. is like the, the cheap version of... Fender. Right, but that is oh, okay. I see. It's Fender, Fender Squire. Squire. Yeah, oh, yeah. Fuck you. All right. Like the Squires used to be made in the United States, just like their exactly. Fenders used to be, and then that's when they moved to Japan and Korea, and now China, Indonesia. Oh, but beautiful. I have a Fender Japan base. It's an Aerodyne. I put all new pickups in it. Uh, and uh, I have it tuned to B E A D for much heavier tuning and sludge it, metal. Pretty, pretty much, dude. Like I just, I just remember taking it to Fountain City Guitar Works down at Westport, and they were gonna uh, put in like three hundred dollars worth of mods in it, which they did. And when I told them that I want you guys to change it to BEAD tuning, and I gave them a set of uh, Ernie Ball Beefy Slinkies, they were looking at me like, "Dude, are, are you just straight up chugging now?" And I'm like. <laughs> Yeah. I don't even give a fuck about tone. I just want as low as you fucking can. Um, chug, 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 well, chug, chug. It's more or less just because like I'm a five string bassist now, and if I'm playing four string, I would just much rather have that low B than the high G. Oh in all yeah, yeah, yeah. And plus, it's like you could you could use that bass to record almost any other genre. Just like it specializes in mainly funk, jazz, or metal. And yeah. You know me. It's so metal. <laughs> back in the day in high school, uh, when we were in our metal band. Uh, Zach would always write our songs and drop B and drop A and shit. Yeah. And it was ridiculous because I, I was yeah. playing with this what? fucking guitar how, how right here. How are you going to play and drop A on a Strat, dude? And it sounded like shit. And yeah. you had to have a well, seven string to make it sound okay. It's like yeah. you could you change to. it to thicker gauge, beefy slinkies j- for even, guitar if you did, but, but it's then, like that's still a pain because you got to get it You got to get it modified and everything. Yeah, yeah that's a jazz guitar. Yeah. A blues guitar. I, I like using it for uh, alternative rock too that's new mm-hmm. but that then that new guitar i bought that's my just dave Grohl all around specialty i'll do anything with that bitch except metal it's not meant for that but so you know if you had a seven string you're automatically in drop a you <laughs> down tune the fucking yeah. top string you don't have to you can be in standard d and right so yeah the the problem with me is the opposite every guitar i have other than my acoustic is good for Absolutely just metal. Just metal. <laughs> yeah. I have a Schecter well, Hellraiser, and then I have ooh, the Sinister on. Gates Custom S. The Hellraiser was the one I used in Adventure Mouse for like two years. Yeah. And it performed so good. Oh, it's a great guitar. It was so great for... Uh, uh, Persephone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the clean. It, I mean, clean tones were phenomenal. The 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 the, the rock sound, mm, like, like it, that, it, is a beautiful. Guitar. I think it's a very yeah. well rounded. Sure, it's mainly advertised for metal, but it can get the job done for everything. It does. So yeah, because it's just a, a, a good guitar. It really is. And so I mean, good guitar. Can well, work. it's so I bought that guitar already customized. Oh, it's um, custom. Yeah. Ooh, so here's there the, you go. here's the cool part about that guitar. So I went into the oh, guitar stock. center in a, in Independence because they had in stock online the guitar I was looking for. Independence. I, yeah, the that's Independence. where I got my bass from. Yeah, my, my my Fender Japan. Right at the guitar center in Independence. Yeah. So I go in there and they don't have that guitar I was looking for, even though like I had called ahead to confirm it was there and like saw it online. Right. Right. So <sighs> what they did have though was this black Schecter Hellraiser uh, that had been customized a little bit. And so I just start looking at this thing, and I start playing it. And I'm like, oh, this, play- this thing like plays really smoothly. And I look down, and on like, the very side of the pickup, I see something very familiar to me. Ooh. It says 7. And the way it says it, I'm- I immediately recognize it. I was like... These are Mick Thompson's active pickups from Slipknot. No way. <laughs> yes. Oh. So that guitar actually has active pickups that 
the guitarist of Slipknot uses. And you were just and looking at it like, okay, I'm this sold. This is it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is it. It has yeah. neck through body. It's super right. smooth. It has 24 jumbo frets. Like this thing yeah, it was at a the fucking time. Nice ass guitar. Dude. Uh, and neck through was always great. I specifically needed. So I got it, and I got it for a steal too. I think I got it for like only like five to seven hundred. Whereas like the guitar I was going there for was like twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. There, you had yeah. money left over for dinner. <laughs> yeah. So I ended up getting a piece a, of cake. And it does. In the <laughs> what I found out later after investing in like uh, the uh, the the one the Floyd Rose uh, Sinister Gates' guitar mm-hmm. is as cool as Floyd Rose pick or bridges are. Um, unless you're going to stay in that tuning forever, mm-hmm. Don't do they're that. the absolute worst. Yeah, I traded in my yeah. Floyd Rose for that uh, Gretsch. Yeah, because the thing is about Floyd Rose is it takes so much upkeep whenever you change tunings. Like you right. have to reconfigure that whole bridge, and it's like it's cool when you have the time for it. And as a teenager, I had a lot of time for it. Right. As an adult, I did. I do not. No. I, I I don't have time to fucking change the strings on my guitar nowadays. <laughs> Let's so, so um, yeah. AJ's currently trying to get out of the room, but he's struggling. <laughs> it's all right. He's a little weird, fella. awkward. So going. the cool yeah. thing about the Gretsch, though, it's um, it has a whammy bar, but it's it doesn't act like a Floyd Rose, so you can put it in whatever tuning, and it it automatically adjusts itself. Yeah. It's, oh, nice. It's it's similar to AJ's Blue uh, guitar. Yeah. That's sick. I, miss, I, miss I don't his know Ibanez. what. Yeah, I don't know what that's called. What type of bridge that's called? Because it, it has like the rod and the swivel with the. Mm-hmm. It's built in, so you can't take it off and shit. I, like I used oh, to know oh, the so term like, for you, it. You can't move it around. It's not a floating bridge. Okay, because that's what it's I not had a with an bridge. It's I the had opposite. a long time ago, and I'm yeah. not a fan I'll of have floating a, bridges. I'll have AJ look it up when he gets back. No, and the floating bridges are, like, once again, like I said, like, they're great they're when fun. you have that guitar and that specific tuning forever. Right. But when you need to change it, it's like, ah, oh, fuck, it's I have such to a rebuild pain. this yeah, guitar, it's... it feels like. like yeah. 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 Like, you have to change, change every string, apart. one set at one string at a time, you know? Yeah. So I, I actually ended up just being, like, very happy with, well, who we call Persephone, and the reason I call it Persephone is because I fucking never got to see that guitar after I gave it to you guys. <laughs> so yeah, like, I was like Hades, like, and and that was like my Persephone. It was like my beautiful guitar that I wasn't playing because I didn't have like space in my apartment for music. Like I didn't yeah. have, I wasn't able to play music at that point in my life. Right. So but I was like, I need at least my equipment to go to someone who can use it. Yeah. And that was Adventure Mouse. And it I used it, the fuck it was used well. It was and used well. And I got well. that sticker on for you. You guys, <laughs> you guys also didn't damage my shit. Yeah. yeah. Which, like some people I know yeah. that I lent equipment to. I mean, a pedal went missing, but that I expected <laughs> like, it. Like, like you lend me I, a I guitar had, cable, and I'm just getting it back to you. Like there you go, and yeah. it's all it's all messed yeah, up, yeah. and it's got like barbecue sauce the, on you it. You lost the pedal. Yeah, I lost the 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 switch pedal for the orange amp. I don't, oh, I don't know, really? I don't know where that went. But. I have one at my house. Yeah, that does not work for my amp, and I think it it's might work. For probably. Like, the what, one. what is no, the switch? I bought it. I remember oh, okay. buying it, but let what me does the switch it? pedal do? Does it like change it between a, channels on the amp? Yeah, or? yeah. It was a two. Yeah. It was a two channel switch pedal. Okay, um, so I think it's it, was the same like a, one. it was like a twenty dollar. Like, it could you cheap, yeah. like with the channel with the with two channels on an yeah. amp? Does that mean that you could have two guitar two guitars plug into that same amp or run it or or does no. that mean like you could have like like a like a separate effect running? It's like a, it, it switches pedal. between like clean and dirty channels. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So so basically like without having to use a distortion pedal you can just use a channel switch pedal okay to where you have your preset options on your amp it's so like when you're ready to kick on your overdrive or yeah. whatever it is that you want like you can you can hit that channel and it, it and it will it will yeah. it'll kick on that yeah. way you're using the amps actual not to sound sorry and shake the table yeah. as much that way you're using the amps actual sound instead of like a sound that is created by the pedal itself right which i'm not against that um and in some cases i'm for that over a certain I like built-in uh, d- dirty, but me too. At the same time, w- once you get to that point where I got like, fucking ten pedals on my board, so it's like, sh- and, and two distortion pedals on there. Yeah, like, honest, so I'm like, just all distortion pedals, man. Like the the big muff, <laughs> I got like I got. You're a little overkill on distortion pedals, yeah, yeah, like, but like ten just, different types. Distortion is like, like so your distortion fuzz is like my desert island guitar effect. Like if I had to choose between any of them, whether it be 
uh, big muffs, overdrives, distortions, uh, pitch, uh, pitch shifters and octavers, uh, uh, Muff Fuzz is my favorite one, and the Big Muff is oh, my yeah. favorite of them all. I love the Muff. Big Muff is. I love yeah. Muff. That's a classic, man. <laughs> a lot of dudes I love, just Muff, love Muff. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> we all love Muff. I love. They call me the Muff Muncher. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Muff name. Diver. I'm the Muff Master. <laughs> That's Haynes' name on Discord. Is the Muff Muncher. <laughs> Muff Muncher. What a fun word, like created to mean just vagina. Muff. Yeah. Like, and like they add the word, they add the pie symbol at the end of it, which pie is another word for vagina. Yeah. So like. <laughs> So yeah, a, you didn't know where that? Did that? Actually, you know what, AJ? Where did the term muff come from? Because <laughs> I actually, up. I, I want to know. Like, how was how muff. new is it? Who made it? Who coined it? Had it had to be like a I 70s term or something. Yeah. Oh. oh. Vulva and pubic <laughs> Muff hair. diver. There it is. So, so muff just means it's, it's actually just referring to vulva and pubic hair. So the outside region of the... Vagina, the vagina, yeah, um, <laughs> the base. It, so by 1840, <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Muff to bungle, perform clumsily or badly is a term created in 1840. It eventually, around like the 1930s, um, oh no, 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 sorry, I, I'm not reading this from the beginning. Uh, 1690s is when the meaning vulva and pubic hair. Uh, was was kind of like tied to the the name muff. So that's pretty neat. That's actually a very old term. Uh, so that means like our founding fathers <laughs> were eating muff, <laughs> dude. Eating muff back back in the yeah yeah with their fucking walrus <laughs> teeth. Oh. Yeah, dude, that's sick. What? Yeah. yeah. Why literally. is it called muff? Go to the people always ask. Right there. This muff cabbage. <laughs> The handle. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Recotton <laughs> vaginal <laughs> discharge pronounced later. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, beef curtain. Muff right. cabbage. Sweet. Mom, so, what's muff cabbage? Right. It's fucking South Park. So muff is an ancient term. Ancient? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what is ancient? Well, when does it become ancient? Does it have to be a century? Well, you have 80 years for it to be, like, vintage or, like... Mm, no, you don't. Uh huh. Like vintage porn is like seventies, eighties porn. Well, I know, like classic cars. I, I thought vintage was like thirty years. It's like it it's like thirty to fifty years. Look that up. And to be considered vintage, it's got to like that guitar right there is considered vintage. I always thought that vintage just means that's like it's discontinued, like they don't particularly make it anymore. That could or also. there's like a cult following behind it. Yeah, any one of those terms. Forty be, years. Forty years. Forty years. Okay. Nice. So right now it would be like 82 would be considered vintage. Right. So Metallica is almost vintage metal. <laughs> vintage. Vintage thrash metal. Vintage thrash. Right now it's classic metal. It's about to go to vintage. Yeah. I just cringe so much whenever I hear people say things that like Motley Crue and Metallica are classified as classic rock. And I'm like, no, that they aren't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's it's, well, it's I mean, metal, man. <laughs> everybody just to the average person is categorized as like, Classic rock. If like it has Black distortion, Sabbath. it's yeah, rock. They, they are classics. Yes, yeah. for sure. But yeah. to right. us, it's it's it, there, it, there's so many more categories <laughs> that we yeah. put things into. Yeah. Like Black Sabbath was number one. They were the first, like actually coined metal band. Yeah. Because of it was a bad newspaper review saying that they sounded like heavy metal falling on the floor. That's where <laughs> that term came from. Oh. Arguably. Because Led Zeppelin was like about at the same time, right? Even though they don't classify themselves as metal, people claim them to be the first metal band, but um, they don't really classify themselves as metal. Muff, muff, <laughs> muff. <laughs> muff. So yeah, muffs. Muff. The the term muff. It's uh oh yeah. What makes something ancient? Like how long is it consi- How long until something's considered ancient? Thousand years, millennium. I need that answer. Because that is, I can't. Buried in the ground? <laughs> in the distant past, period of history before the end of the Roman Empire. Okay, whatever. That makes sense. Then, no, the it's, not, it's not ancient. <laughs> it's not ancient. <laughs> it's, even, it's even longer than I thought. It's over 2,000 years, which is yeah. ridiculous. So, like, no, nobody's going to be chowing down on some ancient muff. No. Unless you found, like, one, like, in a Sucks. coffin and shit. <laughs> so, yeah. out on some now, now we know muff is just. 
Cabbage. A cabbage. Uh, <laughs> it's just a vintage term. Yeah. It's a vintage term for the base of the pussy. In the UK, it's a uh, fanny. fanny. I thought fanny was butt. No, see, in the see, UK, that's, Fanny's vagina. See, this is why we rebelled buddies. against these people. Like, and this is why we rebelled against those people. <laughs> I was talking to one of my buddies, and we somebody this. brought exactly. up like a fanny pack as a joke, and he's like, "A what?" <laughs> We're like, "Yeah, just fanny pack." He's just like, you, "I'd wear a fanny pack around, keep blah blah blah." He's like, "What the fuck are you guys talking Fucking about?" A pussy. Pouch? And then we found out that like fanny means vagina over there. Wait, dude, fanny huh. pack. The yeah, fanny pack's in the shape of a. Pocket. It's a portable vagina. <laughs> Interesting. It's in the shape of a pocket. You know, the more I learn about the British, the less I like them. <laughs> I, I, you, right? It's like you, yeah. God is looking down at these people for giving them their freedom, and they use yeah. it to live in England. Like, uh, come on. And here's, the, here's the shitty part. The less they know about us, the more they hate us. They don't know anything about us. It, it's like hate us. It's like you just look at that per one British person. They just look at the. They just look at you, and they go, Tuesday, isn't it? Tuesday, Tuesday, ain't it? it? It's bad soup time, isn't it? Go get me a bottle of water. I got shat on today. Go <laughs> turn on the flippy dippy whippy switchy. It's uh, too dark in here. I think we've strayed from the path of what is British and what yeah. is just made up. I think you just made all that up. <laughs> it's, it's called. I could uh, try to call Jack right now and just have him say some shit. Dude, totally do it no. right now. Get Jack on here. <laughs> Please. And you know what? Fuck it. Whatever. He's he's got, we don't got anything if else to do. If he answers, we'll see if he fucking answers. He's, Please answer, Jack. I mean, I'm sure we sound just as taboo to him. Oh yeah, I mean, know. yeah, we're we're offensive. Like, like, once AJ, it gets to like southern yeah. accents, that's about, when they're probably like tabooed time. towards us. I, I like, walked. I got into their Discord, and uh, some guy pops into the chat and he's like, "Who's this fucking?" Go America Trump motherfucker here <laughs> as I had like a profile picture of me wearing American flag shit. Yeah. And I'm like, that, that's me, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> and AJ was like, that's my friend James. He's cool. He's Man. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's one thing that I, I don't like about the last like six years that, that came of like this. Uh, when other countries see us with American flags, Yo. they just assume we're like Trumpers. Yeah. It's like, dude, no, I'm an American. There, there is such thing as having pride for your country, just like Germans are proud to be Germans and yeah. French people are Yo, proud to be French. Jack. Yeah. Oh, Jack? Jack's here. Jack's on the line. Uh, you're on the podcast right now. Jack hey, welcome Ripper. to it. Oh, um, hey. They were talking shit on British people. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured I should call one so you can defend yourself. Great intro. I mean, it depends what you were saying. We were just being dicks. <laughs> Making making fun of British accents. Like we fought the war <laughs> over Fanny and Muff. <laughs> yeah. If you can name three, if you can name four different British accents, then you can have your opinions. Cockney, blimey, <laughs> pooly. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I used to act. Um, okay, so no, Northern Ireland, we have London, we have Welsh, and then we have um, Scottish. Let's see. Well, Scottish, yes, but is that British? No. Uh, um, yeah, and then. Uh, I said English. I didn't even say British. So you've not even said one yet. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What was the question? English accents. English accents. Four English accents. Wait, how have I not said one? I think you like, said British instead of English. Wait, so I've I've said okay. So there's <laughs> there's London accents. There is there's Welsh accents. There is. No. <laughs> so is Welsh See, not English? No. Well, I know they have their own language, but they speak. Hmm. All right, name four for us, Jack. Name four. Yeah. You've got Scouse, Geordie, Southern, and then you've got like I don't know, East Country. All right, whoever can guess uh, what accent Jack has, I'll give him five bucks. Geordie. James, you you already know. Yeah, I know. Dang it! I don't cheater. Even, they didn't. You didn't hear me, did you? His Geordie accent? Yes, okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, I gave it away. Fuck. All right. I was going yeah. more by, like, region yeah. and less of, like, the particular <laughs> you fail. Kind of. You f- but yeah, there you go. Give Bit us- of education for your podcast yeah. so you can stick on the education section. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> uh, can you drop some, like, British insults for us before before you go? Oh, cool. Yeah, Dar Salzy, Yvonne. <laughs> What? Wait, what, Jack? <laughs> he said your dad sells Avon. <laughs> Wait, That's good. What's that? That's pretty funny. 
like makeup shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> Is he gone? Okay. Yeah, Ouch. Yeah, he said that and hung up. <laughs> 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 so I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. even have time to fucking insult you fucking chumps. That's, funny. That's a bigger insult. insult than what he actually insulted. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Uh, so I guess I misunderstood the question then. Yeah. Because no, I was going uh, for like that whole island area. Yep. Yeah. He was like talking just English. He was just talking just English, yep. even though everybody there speaks English. Yeah. But it's like, got it. You'll get stuff that, like, we wouldn't know about unless you fucking live there. Yeah. Hmm. Like, okay. Yeah. But I mean, still, it's like, it's weird, though. Like, you'll get the people that are like, Stewie, Stewie, you got a telephone call. And then you yeah. get the ones that are like, call. Hey, who the who, who, who was he, Mumbo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, because you've got, like, you've also got, like, in London itself, you have multiple different accents. Like, you have your high London accent, and there's a term for the other one. I don't know. Yeah. Like, East London. Cool. Like, there's Cockney. East side, west side. <laughs> yeah. There's Bush world. Yeah. You in the fucking car, Morty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to go for a drive. Go big <laughs> Eight hour drive, Morty. We're going to go to Bendigo to get the green cube. cube. We're gonna go to Bendigo, Morty. <laughs> that's the. That's all probably right, the I got a fucking gun. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm all fucking all serious, Morty. All right, Rick. We're here in Bendigo. Now what? That's the what other do thing. you mean, Morty? Well, you said we're going to Bendigo. This was your idea, Rick. Uh, no, no was. that was all you, Morty. <laughs> that's the other thing about British people. They get offended easy. They do. Okay, they really do. Like, I forgot where I saw it, but it's just like a uh, a friend of mine, like like is like a uh, sharing music with like a uh, a friend of his that's in Australia, and he says he says this is pretty good stuff, mate. And he's like, well, thanks. I'm glad you like it. And the guy goes, I didn't say I like it, can't. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, okay. <laughs> Damn. Never dude. mind. Then. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Say what you mean, man. Like, like <laughs> Australians can be a little blunt sometimes. Not all of them, but y yeah, y you know what I mean. I like I like blunt people though because they get to the point. Like yeah. I, I consider myself like they're straight to business. You I, know? I, I I'm pretty blunt a lot yeah, of the time. In most cases. Yeah, but me too. I'm pretty like this is me. I'm pretty w white and black. <laughs> <laughs> one thirty second black. One sixty fourth. One sixty fourth. Man, that, that doesn't term? even count. I'm pretty cut and dry when it comes to what the fuck I want. Yeah. Unless I'm in a relationship, then it's like all fun and games, and then it's like monopoly. It's like well, shoots and ladders, dude. You're gonna have to expand on that. I don't know what you mean. Next man. question. I never played shoots all right. and ladders. We need to have Jack play. actually on the podcast sometime to just teach us some British slang. Yeah. There's stuff that I Maybe started saying unironically like, now against too. him, kind of. No, yeah, like, like, like he felt attacked like, a little bit. Oh, like, we I we do that to him all the yeah. time. Like, okay. I kind of feel yeah. like there was a lot it's that I could learn from friendship. Jack than like my sister and her husband because they lived in England for like a year and they couldn't return to America because of COVID and shit. And I'll be so. honest with you, he is kind of hard to understand right off the bat. Right, that's but, fine. Like I was, he was trying to show me some magic tricks. I think at one point, and he's talking to me. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right? it's, a, it's a thick. The Geordie accent is thick. It's, yeah, it's. it's uh, well, didn't you say it was like not to be offensive? It's like the the redneck of their. I mean, not redneck, mm, but I know. I, I, maybe you could compare it to like Southern because Southern, southern can be really heavy. They have even heavier. Like there's, there's they do heavier. have heavier for sure. Yeah. Just for the sure. weird thing to yeah. think about is that like you go to like the Southern states, like South Carolina and like Tennessee and a bunch of other South other places, Carolina. but like. Those like that the accents that developed around those times, like in like the eighteen forties, like they came from Britain, British people. Mm -hmm. Like it's weird to think about, you know? Yeah, that yeah. Is true. Well, I mean a lot of our accents have. Like that's why when you get into like the French quarter in Louisiana, you can't understand anybody. Oh because no. it was <laughs> it was it's the like they didn't a hundred years ago, not many people spoke English in the French quarter. Like like English kinda made its way in. So you have these accents that are actually from like they're left over from another language, <laughs> like which is the the, the combination of French, yeah, um, yeah. and Sorry. like the kind of like Creole accent there and mm -hmm. yeah. dialect. I'm fucking. That's like uh, now I'm distracted. <laughs> I'm fucking shit up. What are you doing? What's so funny? Doing this, dudes. You wiping your balls and smelling it, it, you freak. Oh, I, fu I fucking farted. It's like. a nasty time of incense, James. <laughs> Listen, uh, it it's smells like the French Quarter in here, dude. <laughs> Incest. No, I guess yeah. that's probably a similar wait, thing wait, wait, like French Canadians. Did you Canadians. say incense like, or English, incest? What did you say? What did you Thick. say? Between us dudes? 
Your dad works at Avon. I dropped Kind? this mic if I could. If I <laughs> dropped this mic, it'd break. Actually, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't heard that. Your dad, never your dad works at Avon, <laughs> and it's like it's such a solid insult because it's it's. It, America you don't have likes to cuss. pyramid schemes. You know, it's very yeah. wholesome. Yeah. America loves their pyramid schemes, and Avon is one of those that like we accept because they sell <laughs> beauty products. No, yeah. it's a funnel scheme. The guy starts at the bottom, and the money funnels its way to him. Hey. No, it doesn't. You, it's a pyramid scheme. Hey. When, when you get more people to join under you, you make more money. That's how yeah. that works. You, you want to talk pyramid scheme? Okay. Yeah. Like, so listen to this. So like, there's these uh, Egyptians, right? They're yeah. they're enslaved by their leaders. They're built to a bar. They're, they're, no, they're they're <laughs> they're, they're, built, they're built. They're building a pyramid, right? Yeah. One of them just looks to the other one. He's he's miserable. Like he's got lashes from a whip in his back. He's sweating. He's he's about to collapse from all the labor all he's doing. Sweating. Shut and, up. The guy is he hit his work, his other coworker just looks at him and he goes, "Hey, come on, man! It's not a pyramid scheme. It's multi-level marketing." <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest pyramid scheme Got of him. all. Was yeah. the pyramids? Yeah, yeah. That's true. We just, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say we because I probably am yeah. not related to the ancient Egyptians. I, I don't think you built a pyramid. I mean, did you? They're aliens, bro. Aliens. That's one of the honestly. That's one of my don't favorite conspiracies: is people it. who think that we don't know how they built the pyramids. Yeah, what? we fucking do. We can literally build them. Yeah, there, I saw this <laughs> like, video out there. What are you talking there. about? Yeah, yeah. There's video. That we can build houses. We can build there. pyramids. <laughs> well, also, it took hundreds of years. Like, it wasn't an overnight project. These yeah. guys had but trial and they, error. They, they yeah. gave yeah. they their gave kids, their whole lives to build those pyramids. <laughs> Multiple generations. Of yeah, life. and just yeah. to bury one person. Yeah. Yeah. And then when the next person dies, like, okay, on to the next one. Well, that's <laughs> the thing. Did they even know who they were going to put in that tomb? Right, yeah. Right. Time? Like, when they started building it, like, they didn't well, know who like, was going This there. person better be it pretty fucking been, important. Like, the ruler's heir of heir of heir, you know? Just yeah. That per their lineage, yeah. you know? They're, like, on a, they're really going out on a limb being, like, my greatest, greatest grandson, maybe. Or it was, like, <laughs> we'll oh, get shit. buried here. Or they were, like, oh, shit, the pyramids aren't done. We'll, uh, we'll, our, Next guy, you're going to be putting this one. Well, he died I mean, before yeah. they were built, so next guy, we're putting you in there. I mean, you also kind of got to feel bad for the for the en works. you got to feel bad for the engineers who helped develop the plans for the pyramids because they did it without AutoCAD. <laughs> yeah, like these guys. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a pencil? Yeah, that's probably what they were saying. <laughs> you ever heard of pencil and paper? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like nowadays engineers like when when their AutoCAD program stops, they're like, I can't work today. Can't work well, they today. didn't even have <laughs> pencil and paper. No, they had stone. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, like, they, stone they and chisels. Right? No, 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 no pencil and paper, stone and chisels. I'm sorry, <laughs> they didn't even get to paper yet. <laughs> My question is like, why a triangle? Like, whose idea was just like, what do you want to build? A uh, 3D triangle. I don't know. Let's I like build a bunch of it. them. Let's build like a hundred of them. If you want my own uneducated yeah. opinion on the matter, here it is. I think that in their heads, maybe, like, when you bury the person in this pyramid because of the shape of it, it'll shoot their spirit up into the oh, heavens. Oh, it's like a beacon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I still but think they, they should have made them a lot smaller. I still they, think they, they should have settled on a have. isosceles trapezoid instead. Get yeah. out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Get out of my show. <laughs> oh, I was actually doing some uh, a little bit of research uh, over the cult of Pythagoras yesterday. What the? F what is so that? You you all know of Pythagoras, the ancient uh, mathematician. Oh, who Pythagoras. developed who the Pythagorean theorem? Allegedly developed the Pythagorean theorem. Allegedly, which was actually developed a thousand years before him, um, in other cultures. Right, but yeah, in like ancient Egypt, actually, because pyramids. Uh, but it wasn't like put down onto papyrus until this guy. Happy Rose. But uh, so he had this like cult following uh, of like the Pythagoreans, right? That would right. like go to his school. They would be educated, and they would have these like weird, basically like religious like ceremony things that they would do. Like they would they were basically abstinent from like uh, taking a wife or like having kids, and they would like live with him in this like basically like, like temple like playboy mansion yeah yeah t type of style yeah. and uh <laughs> eventually like no seafood like over time just because of like politics and like violence and stuff like they became this violent cult huh. at, like towards the end um I, I i forgot a lot of the details That's here fine. i just it just sparked into my mind because i was looking at it yesterday right but uh these 
it, it was just interesting because, like, in school, we never really go over, like, what Pythagoras was all about. Like, how did this kind of, like, theorem develop and, like, who his followers were? I remember, like, it being mentioned that he had the Pythagoreans. But right. like, this was this whole... And so, uh, basically, a lot of their tenets, like, on how to live, and you might want to, like, double-check me on this, AJ, is, uh, like, they were basically just super nerds. Like, huh. That's that's all they were. Like, they, like at a religious level, super they nerds. were, like, super nerds. Like, what we consider nerds, like, in the 70s and 80s, like, virgins, like, they didn't They're fuck just, anybody, and, like... Math was their religion. Yeah. <laughs> it was... Yeah. Belief, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Flag, that, that's not necessarily math. That was part of it. But, okay. Yeah. Yes. Because Pythagoras was a philosopher first yes. and foremost, oh. which we don't learn about in school for some reason. Mm-mm. It's like, yeah, he created this math thing. He was so much more. That's all I know is he created the triangle. Yeah. Yeah. And he, <laughs> well, he also made the number ten. <laughs> um, what do you want me to look up exactly? <laughs> the number. Um, yeah, that's true. Pythagorean's belief system. Dude, oh. at, boom. Dude, look at that. Look at that tricep, bro. Which look, one? Look at that. Oh, that one. Yeah. What about that one? Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> Believed immortality and transmigration of the soul. The idea that after death, souls went to heaven or occupied the bodies of men or animals. They also thought that pure knowledge was the essence of the soul and the best means of attaining pure knowledge was through numbers. Which isn't false, necessarily. Okay, but, there you go. But, uh, I mean, there's there's a lot to know through numbers there's also a lot that you discover outside of numbers but they believed that like committing themselves fully to this program would give them immortality because it would keep their essence pure mm. right much like huh. a lot of cults do in their own like little ways yeah right um, um by the way you were pretty much right about the pyramids though yeah ah look at that man you were right yeah related to sunbeams and all that good right. stuff that's what i was thinking but I also just, like, a, it was a mix of, like, past knowledge plus personal belief that yeah, I wanted yeah. to merge about the pyramids. <laughs> but, yeah, basically, that's what they're for. Yeah. They shoot you up into the heavens. What yep. do you think you'd be Only if you were just like, like, like a beacon. If I was an animal? Yeah, what would you be? I am an animal. I know. But <laughs> another animal. If you were, like, a cat. Like, <laughs> swords. <laughs> a I cat of swords. Sea otter. I would sea like otter. to be a tiger, but, like, that's... That's reaching pretty right. far, you know. I'd probably be like a house cat. Like yeah, a, AJ, yeah, like we'd, a we'd be a mouse, right? Yeah, I could be a mouse. What? I could be a cat too, though. That'd be dope. A house cat would be the dude, dream. Yeah, because like the only thing, like even a house cat being pretty cool, because unless you're like an alley cat, like you don't even have to worry about dogs, really. All right, let me yeah. backtrack. <laughs> Not what animal would you want to be? What animal your soul? Like reflect like spirit I'm a lion, animal. dude. Spirit animal. Mm. I'm a lion. Like if you were to transform into a majestic creature. Well, I am year of the tiger. Are you? Yeah, I'm 98. I guess Bro. I'm a tiger. The Chinese. Too, I'd probably, so I'd probably be like a, a stag or something. Cause Ooh, like that's yeah, what, that's red what. Stag. Like cause last time, like uh, I had like a type of question like that where it's like like what's my spirit animal or like what animal do I reflect the most? My result came up stag because it's like. Uh, it just resembles like somebody who's peaceful until provoked in a way. Hmm. So I guess you could say it's like, like I don't know if that means that like I'm quick to anger or if it just means like you know it's like hey I'm ready to stand my ground if I have to. Right. But unless I have to, <laughs> right, I'm gonna carry on with my own day. Exactly. Or it's like my day. I'm, I'm fucking, fucking. I'm fucking, <laughs> and I'm going to eat, eat some meat. I'm eating meat. Some fucking chicken wings, and I'm, and I'm conquering, and yeah. I'm fighting other males. I'm going yeah. to eat, gonna eat some chicken wings and punch a nerd. So are we allowed to pick, like, fantasy creatures? Um, no, a liger. Not this oh. round. Not this Dang, round. This okay. round. We'll do that next round. I think I'd be either a, a lynx, like I was at Adventure Mouse, or a red tail hawk. Just some hawk creature. I held one of those before They're on my crazy. on my arm. If I was crazy. to pick a With secondary, the and everything, and the the helmet on its head. I think yeah. giraffe like, would be pretty dope. Giraffe. Yeah. <laughs> <a> fucking giraffe <laughs> wrestling. AJ, you remember when we went? When I would we went be an to owl the, if I was to pick a secondary. Yeah. You remember when we went to the Des Moines Stealthy. Zoo together? And we were feeding the giraffes, and they Dude. were literally like, we were feeding them lettuce, and they were just yeah. sitting there, just sticking out their tongues like. See, I wish I would have went. Dude, <laughs> and just giraffe tongues. Around, and just taking the giraffe last out of our hands. Trippy, dude. dude, feeding giraffe is so freaking cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's isn't cool, their yeah. tongue like three feet long? Dude, like, like, like it just, it just, it just, it just extends. Like, yeah, like, but it also like goes down further <laughs> into their throat. So if you were to like take their whole tongue out, how long yeah, their tongue, their tongues are black too. Oh lord. 
Apparently, sometimes purple. So purple black. That's the sound I imagine it making. <laughs> look, look, look at that one. It's picking its nose with its tongue. <laughs> it's like they're so peaceful, but they could fuck you up. Yeah, yeah they're peaceful unless, yeah, they're fighting each other. Peaceful yeah. till And they're like the most terrifying animal on the planet. I, I feel yeah. like we've watched giraffe fights on this we podcast we before. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Now, if I was going to be a fantasy creature, though, I'd be a griffin yeah. with the head of a giraffe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I always that's thought a, whoa. Be a that's a griffaf. Yeah, it's gotta be a griffaf. <laughs> He's a griffaf. Yeah. Hey, girl, griffaf. you shit with that griffaf? <laughs> yeah, you do. Like, imagine a griffin, but it's got like a long ass neck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look uh-huh. it up. That'd See if terrifying. someone's made one. Dude, that, Google that shit, man. I thought I'd, I I think I would be either a, a phoenix or a, a lichen, a wolf mate, wolf. F- what are they? What are the fuck? They got wings and shit, but they're also like part wolf. Oh. That's like a flamingo giraffe griffin. Flamingo, dude. That's kind of fucking sick. It's kind of dope. But um, imagine, you know, a giraffe. Is that a thing? What? What you just said. Yeah, it's a uh, part wolf, part human, but it has wings. What was it? Man wolf Sorry? bird. Man wolf bird. <laughs> I'm unfamiliar Man wolf with bird. bird. <laughs> it's, 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 it's part wolf, part human with the wings. I mean, there's a Batman villain called Man Bat. It's not that. It's like an actual mythological creature. <laughs> not it. Man wolf. Wait, what was bird? it? Bird with wings. Man wolf bird. <laughs> it's been made. Yeah. Winged wolf. So it's like a werewolf with wings. Man wolf. Are you talking about a gargoyle? No. Man, Man bear wings. pig. <laughs> That's about the closest thing there is, though, to that. Werewolf with wings. Is that a That's... thing? Are they called anything? Hold I on. swear you made this up. <laughs> no, it's real, dude. It's fucking real. Winged wolf. What is wolf with wings called? Ah, Marcosius. Yeah. It's a chimeric wolf with wings of a griffin and a tail of a serpent. See, that's that's not man, though. I know, it's close. Yeah, it is close. There is something whoa, out there that I don't know like, what it would be Google pictures of the Marcosius. This is an ancient okay. Greek thing. So Google the chupacabra users. next. I'm just going to copy and paste Or it's this. Roman. It could be either. I always wonder what a Roman. chupacabra would look like. I know they eat goats, but I they're just don't know what pussies, they look like. They're little pussies, dude. Chupacabras? Yeah. Really? Yeah. little bitches. I'm pictured they're like the Chinese real, like... dragon, but with like little like camo legs. No. Okay. No, so <laughs> the, the depictions of this like thing that we call a chupacabra, chupacabra is basically just a hairless dog with like hollow teeth that it uses for like sucking blood. Really? That's yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. It's, so, it's a vampire dog. It's so like... That's lame. Yeah. <laughs> Never lame. mind. <laughs> like it can't really kill you. Like you could kill it before. It's it like it's like you. yeah, like yeah, it's like yeah, they're blood suckers, but it's like their main appetite is goat. Goat yeah. blood. <laughs> yeah, okay. this is something I've I've kind of figured hardcore, out dude. is is there were never really monsters on this planet. There were just creatures Dragons. we didn't know how to defeat, like wolves. Whoa. Yeah, like bears, right? Like sharks. Oh my! And I'm octopus. more scared of whales than I would be sharks. <laughs> yeah, whales are terrifying, especially like, if you have no fucking clue what the hell it is. It's like, 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 it's like we live in a world so where it's like we see we see, we have things like Sea World and all these programs where we defend whales and dolphins. And it's like, but little do people know that whales you should be more terrified of than sharks because it's like think about it, they're mammals depending. too. Okay, depending on the whale, we have whale. something called a lone star tick. You get bit. Two months later, you eat a hamburger and die. Huh? Yeah. That's fucked up. What? That's scarier than a fucking wolf. Look, yeah. Look Lyme's that, disease. Look, look that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Lyme's L- disease. Lone star tick. What is that? Is, is, is it the one that has like that that dot yeah. on his back? Yeah. It's white dot. I think it's a white dot. Eating a hamburger in the next minute, you know you're because dead so meat. That's what sucks. it does is it makes you allergic to red meat. It destroys your immune system. It does all mm. sorts of crazy shit to your body, and you don't know it until. Like, late. most of the time, you just don't know. Yeah. My mom has a friend that... No, obviously, have it's here, not don't every don't single time you get bit that happens. Some right. people get Lyme's disease, get over it. Some people have it for life. I've Some people don't get it at all. But I'm fine. Yeah. Well, like, um, there, there, sometimes people can get Lyme's disease by, by like, there's, like, certain trauma triggers. Like, if they fall off a ladder or if they get, like, like hit mm. in the head with something, it can trigger Lyme's yeah. disease that they've been bitten by a tick. In the past few years, no, there's literal stories about people who didn't know they ate a burger and ended up in the hospital. Like that, that's scary, yeah. dude. It's fucked up. Well, that's the thing about like Terrifying. diseases is a lot of them just, as we've learned these past two years, <laughs> they affect everyone differently. Yeah. So yeah. you can have Lyme's disease and not know it. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. Like I used to be a Boy Scout. I would camp so much, and I would find some of those ticks on me occasionally, and I've been fine. Statistically, but... in this room, <laughs> most <laughs> of us, there's probably only one of us without herpes. I have herpes. Me, I'm the one without herpes. <laughs> we <Damn> all <laughs> probably I, I, have. I'm, it. I'm, I'm immediately cla claiming. I mean, if you've ever had a cold sore. Yeah, I think I have. Uh, uh, yeah, that's Do you, a, I guess that's a type of herpes. You, never mind. I've had herpes. I that's so I'm sorry. I lied. But that's the thing, though. Is I had a cold sore when I was 13. It's actually not like, Game. and I'm not. <laughs> this isn't me coming out saying like oh, I have general herpes. Hey, you're I'm coming out. Saying, yeah, I'm coming out, dude. Um, <laughs> but. What I am saying is, like, we could all have it and just not know. Like, it could like, run dormant. Yeah. Like, like HIV. Yeah. Oh, and, like, gonorrhea and shit. It stays dormant for two, three years. It can, it can do that. Yeah, depending. <laughs> and so then, but when it shows yeah. up, like, it's going to show up. I mean, herpes <laughs> does have different strains, though. Like, there is the sexually yes. transmitted herpes, Sativa? which is the one that you Indica? don't want. So All right. I was watching the Dr. Drew really do podcast yeah. yesterday. Uh, Dr. Dr. Drew. Drew was just talking about herpes. Um, basically supplies. saying like both of those types, like the ones that we considered to be oral, the ones that we consider to be genital, Vaginal. actually affect both places. Hmm. And I mean, kind of how he was summing it up was like, yeah, basically everybody has herpes, yeah. but like some people just get it really bad. Yeah. Which is crazy to me. It makes me want to go get tested. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've like, always wanted to get I a blood test. It? Yeah. I've always wanted to get a full blood test to get all my levels checked, see like, what's going yeah, on. Yeah. There body, is a dude. lot. There is a lot that you could find out about yourself from a blood test yeah. and a doctor, like, you know, rubbing your balls and telling you that you don't have cancer or yeah. a hernia. Yeah. 100%. I don't have a hernia. Quit touching my nuts, officer. I need you to <laughs> run these it's, tests. It's, it's, it's like, what's going not through his head when he's touching your nads? You're just sitting there, like, just trying not to feel awkward. And he's sitting, there, like, he's, he's sitting there like, <laughs> so have you seen any good movies lately? And yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, I like to make jokes when I'm in the doctor's office. Because yeah. I have this, like, real nervous doctor. He, I, I don't think I'm going to go back to him. But I've had him most <laughs> of my life. His name's, well, I can't just name him. But um, in Paola, Kansas. And he, uh, he's just so goddamn awkward. And yeah. And he only have you in there for, like, ten minutes at max. Like, he really wants you in and out. And I always just try to, like, stay and chat with the guy. Because, like, I feel like I can just... Talk to the Brighten guy. his day, yeah, or something. It's like a therapist, but he really doesn't appreciate my jokes. Like <laughs> he just, he just like brushes. Like it's like he I is anti-joke. Mm. And so I want a new doctor because I want a doctor who isn't afraid to just joke around Dude. and play with you the like gray my area of <laughs> HR. You know, the gray area of your. Yeah, <laughs> just because you're touching my nuts doesn't mean you can't make a funny. Yeah. Harder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I could just, like, go down there, and be like, you like, can't, you can't giggle, cold giggle here, because it, it tickles. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, little, it's a little chilly in here, huh? Yeah, Doctors I probably look at you doctor. like, you give your balls you need a little to go tickle. to my doctor, dude. He, he's basically like uh, Will Ferrell as a doctor. Good, because that's the thing. No, not Will Ferrell. I don't like going to the yeah, doctor. Yeah, Will Ferrell. Is that him? Will Ferrell? Who the fuck's Will Ferrell? Will Ferrell's in everything. Yeah, it was it was that brothers. Yeah, the it was Talladega what, Nights. Yeah. The Oblongs. My doctor <laughs> looks like it acts like Will Ferrell in all of his movies. Yeah. He's a goofy motherfucker. Good. Yeah, I love I, Will I, Ferrell. I didn't look up Will <laughs> Ferrell. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I remember like, the nervous now. doctor though. I'm like under Phil Ferrell. <laughs> Phil Ferrell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that. I just feel like doctors are lame. <laughs> Steal his prescription <laughs> pad next time. Yeah, dude. You know, get pull a Jared Drake and steal his prescription pad. Yeah, get get, get yourself <laughs> some fucking Demerol, huh? man. <laughs> Did it work? I don't know. That's fine. Well, it's like here's the thing though is that like if you do end up stealing the prescription pad, you still have to know how to write like a doctor, which there is like a whole like 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 year long college course on how to write like a doctor. Uh, big stretch. Yeah. Good, James. More of uh, more of the story. A lot of you doctors need to loosen up. That's Loose it. it <laughs> That's about it. You hear me? Like, your knowledge is good. I'm not saying you're not credible, but you're just anxious. Stop being so anxious. Just be confident in your art. And Stop you, just yeah, being like, credible like and you, be incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Be incredible. Yeah. Because right now, you guys just act like nerds who've never had sex. Yep. Might be true in some cases. All doctors are virgins. I have had the sex. I don't believe you. Uh, no, you haven't. I won't believe you either. Shut up. Prove it. 
I can smell you, dude. No, don't you even think about it. Let us smell it. I'm not smelling your dick on camera, bro. I remember. Do you guys remember that Tosh.0 thing? It was like some girl came on and sang a song about her ex-boyfriend called Can I Smell Your Dick? She has an entire song about, like, I remember she it. thinks her boyfriend's cheating on her. So when he goes out, whenever he comes home, she asks him to smell, smell his dick. That was a fun song. That actually. was a fun song. I, I, we can play that. Like, that. That was, like, actually a thing in our, like, friend group back in the day. Like, we, we used I don't to play that, that song, like, me and Hayden did. I don't remember. The, Let me smell your dick. No, nope, never happened. Tosh point oh, nope, they, he this put some really messed up stuff on his show. That's why yeah, I love it did. so yeah, much. I know. <laughs> I know. He was he was a hero. Yeah, to the comedians. He really was. Is he just <laughs> he, he pushed? Give a fuck. No, in good. Yeah. Give no fucks. I love how the beginning of every Tosh point episode has Obama's voice doing the intro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see, I like that. That's like, that's better. Yo, dick stink. <laughs> yeah. Also, so glad this practice wasn't like, uh, you know, like made a thing. Yeah. What yeah. practice? Of smelling dicks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to yeah. Ensure, this is about someone smelling someone's dick. To make sure they're not cheating. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make sure Dude. it doesn't smell like some other girl's puss. Smell like fish. Other girl's <laughs> fanny. You don't want it smelling like another girl's muff. Dude, what if it just you know? does? What if I just have a smelly dick? What if you just like slip and fall into you, a pussy? You, you you know? What if I just slip and fall into like a, some tuna? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What, what if, if I accidentally slip my Listen, dick up my own butt? I was making my way down the street, right? Past this fish market, right? We don't have to. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to quote Afro Man on this one. My mom got one eye, one leg. I call her eye hop. <laughs> 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 That's my favorite Afro Man quote. What's <laughs> weird? What's inside your butthole? I really want to know. What? I haven't heard the song Colt 45 in a long time, and that's weird because I work at a dispensary. Well, like That's like the song songs. by Afro Man that everybody knows if they ever heard of Afro yeah. Man. Yeah. I'm sure I listened to it like last I've week. I've only heard of that song huh? because I got it. I'm sure I listened to that song like last week. Oh, it plays yeah. every now and yeah. then, but like I haven't like listened. I haven't heard it in the dispensary. Weird. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't, uh, Wait, uh, it's gonna change. Got some Dr. Dre. Which well, so dispensary do you work for at? The, if you're watching this podcast, it's the Super Bowl day. Happy Super Bowl! I just want to yeah. say uh, thank you, Dr. Dre, Snoopy Dog, for doing the halftime show. My dad uh, said some very nasty things about it, but he's going to hell, so don't gotta worry about that. <laughs> also, um, we're on Spotify. Check us out. Can, yeah, right, keep going. go Bengals! Do it for Harambe. <laughs> yeah, I like the it. Bengals outfits, so I'm gonna go with them. Are you? One. What yeah. What are the colors? What do we They're, got? Well, they look like tigers on the field. Yeah. I don't know what they look like during the Super Bowl. Look up both hoping. of them, because I don't know anything about this. But all right. So we got the Cincinnati Bengals. Versus I'm going Rams. Rams. I'm going Rams all day. Okay, dude. but the reason you should go for Cincinnati is because they literally stated that they're going to do it for Harambe. Because are like, you really he, serious? Yeah. Is that like a well, meme dude, shit? Harambe died at the Cincinnati Zoo. Oh, so like, like yeah, the, like, that's why they're look, doing it. Look that up. That's is that, like, funny. Something yes, that's legit. what an old yeah. meme. And and here's the thing though, Cincinnati is in the same league as the Kansas City Chiefs, so it's like you gotta support them, dude. Like fuck LA. <laughs> I mean, nope, no offense to any uh, viewers here from well, Los Angeles. There's none. Love you guys. There's none. LA. Okay, great, dude. Everybody great. in LA is trying to do their own fucking thing. It was Sam great. Hubbard who <laughs> stated it. I don't know who Sam Hubbard is. I yeah, one of their players. Yeah, we can shit on L.A. We don't. What is, has Reddit said anything? We're a better about city because um, we're Bengals smaller. Bengals star wants Super Bowl wins on Harambe. Too. Yeah. It's on all sorts Most of news parts. places, but yeah. Yeah, it's even on YouTube. Yeah. Wow. No, I'm 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 actually glad okay. that Kansas City isn't the hub okay. for like entertainment industry. Uh, dude. Oh, it'd be same disgusting, here, dude. It would yeah. be. It's and that's why L.A. sucks. Because <laughs> it's the yeah. hub of entertainment industry, and there's really. Kiss. I could be missing something, but is there really much else other than like corporate power in like entertainment industry in LA that keeps it going? Like, not really. There really is not much, dude. Yeah, maybe some like, like if they didn't like have crime, that, like is like, I'm sure money. the railroads there, which is some well, job. Dude, here's here's a scary thing about yeah. the railroads in places like Los Angeles. Train car robbery is up 350 percent. Like you Dude. can literally, you can literally go Dude. on those train tracks and you will see like cardboard, Boxes plastic everywhere. everywhere. It looks Ooh. like it looks like a third world country. I and saw that on the news. That's yeah, in Los Angeles. Wow. Like look that up. The uh, L.A. train robberies. Uh, 
Uh, like the picture, yeah, the video. Yeah. The top one. Look at that. Well, it's, that's crazy. It's, it's terrifying. Well, it like, it my, looks like a geez. third world country. My brother's actually a, uh, he's an engineer for, for BNSF. Oh, wow. oh, really? Yeah, so he, he drives the trains. And um, I haven't heard anything about this yet from him, but... He also is up in the uh, Washington area, so it's it's probably it's a little better. Oh my God, USA Today, you're pissing us off. Still definitely like Just a allow super ads, loose damn thing, it. I, I did it that. Okay. Oh my Go God. To a different one then. <laughs> yeah. I bet. I mean, you saw the you saw the yeah, thumbnail. Yeah. yeah. And that goes for miles, dude. And they're trying to like. Well, it's like you're not gonna have a nice city if you don't take care of it and you have all these fucking scumbags running around I'm like dude well it's like here's the scary part that like most of the robberies taking place when they have to do when they have to do stops to to, to, yeah. to do train car ways so they can tell whether or not they got robbed so when they're trying to figure out they're going up oh, we're getting robbed right now <laughs> and a lot of those the majority of them are Amazon packages yeah wow yeah that explains yeah. why I didn't get a couple packages dude like okay like, in my welding class yeah. we had to order stuff from never Amazon got a either we had to get stuff from oh, Amazon man. to get our supplies for class, like all of our electrodes, our cups, mm -hmm. collets, and everything to set up our TIG torch for welding, right? And a lot, of, like like two kids in my class were telling us to telling the teacher, "Hey, I, I ordered this stuff from uh, Amazon and it still hasn't shown up." And they're telling us, "Like it's like, yeah, because your packages got your packages probably got stolen." Wow. Yeah. Good Even though work. a lot of it's from like you, train cars mostly, and not like uh, yeah. just simple like plane packages or yeah, something. It, it pisses me off. It's like, oh, crazy. my life is shitty, so I'm just gonna go fuck up other people's lives and make mine a little bit better. That's exactly what's yeah. going on. It Here's the worst part like of that, it: though. a lot <laughs> of the people that are getting busted robbing those train cars, like they're, they're, they're it's misdemeanors. Not even not even misdemeanors. They're back on the streets in like less than yeah. five days. Yeah, they're not even getting in trouble for it. Like they're not even yeah. getting like they're not even getting a slap on the wrist or the uh, what's it called like a minor on like like petty theft like theft under yeah. a thousand yeah it's such dollars. a small crime it should be a federal charge to me yeah. to me they're stealing mail to essentially me, yeah. theft is theft it theft. does not matter how much you stole like what yeah. matters is that you stole yeah it's and it was wrong principle not yeah. possession so yeah something I learned when I was doing security though is we don't I mean it's because of the stupid laws that we still need to get rid of yeah we don't have a whole lot of jail space like at all yeah we have no jail true. space yeah because we're putting potheads in jail and yeah. other people that Addicts aren't doing anything and, that and bad really people that have mental diseases and yeah and the bigger the homeless population gets the smaller the jail space gets because mm -hmm. all they do is stuff that gets them put in jail so they have room and board for the night yeah, and so a lot of the, that's a lot of the jail space too. Right. Uh, it's a real bummer. It so, is, man. Yeah, it well, keeps us from well arresting hopefully, people. Hopefully, you arrested. know the Bengals can make this win for Harambe, and he can come back down as a second Jesus. Please, yeah. maybe we, actually we, we my spirit animal. Win. <laughs> my spirit Harambe. animal is a gorilla, yeah. silverback. <laughs> Co the cosmic silverback. The, the cosmic, cosmic silverback. <laughs> that's actually a good name. I'm gonna That's I'm gonna make like this. Well, like, uh, did you ever play uh, Call of Duty uh, uh, Black Ops Zombies? Yeah. Uh, the game of Dead Ops Arcade. They have the the cosmic silverback gorilla. Yeah. Oh, as one yeah. of the characters. Yeah. Okay. I remember the gorilla. Yeah. yeah. He just comes and he's. <laughs> yeah, he's he's just running through there, and you're and you're just trying to shoot zombies. Yeah. And I you, get a to kill, you can kill tattoo. him. You can kill the gorilla. Do it. Get the Harambe tattoo. You need to get like right here. Dude, imagine having like, you know, people get like dude. lions like on their necks and stuff. Imagine Harambe just like a Harambe. Yeah, with like vines and caves dude, shit going over. That'd be dude. That's yeah. a tattoo yeah. and a half. So I would what? totally get a gorilla tattoo. Too, yeah. So it's like, are you Why an not? activist? Yeah, I'm an activist for one particular zoo animal that was killed like eight years ago. Yeah. yeah. Hair and me. <laughs> that's why I think it's kind of funny that that's harem beef. <laughs> say the harem beef. Like they're literally they're standing up for a zoo animal that was harem actually beef. like when you look like go back and like look at like why it happened. They were saving a baby. Yeah, there was a baby in the cage, yeah. and he was approaching the baby. That baby shouldn't have been so fucking the stupid. Par the parents, yeah. if if they're yeah. not in prison, what? should be in prison for the rest of their lives for letting their baby get into a gorilla exhibit. The I don't baby even know have been how that, that happens. That's what I'm yeah, saying. dude, the baby but, is the baby's fault for crawling in there. Yeah. But <laughs> if anything, they, the gorilla was saving it. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. It was really first saving off, it from his stupid parents. <laughs> the whole blame should be on the parents. Yeah. Because all yeah. the zookeepers were doing, or whoever shot the gorilla, was saving a baby's life, and then everybody's mad at that guy. And it's like, yeah. bro, be mad at the parents. Yeah. They let the baby into the exhibit. My, that caused me. To my have biggest to put question was why yeah. they didn't tranquilize it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's what I don't fast understand. Fast acting so, pranks. The, the, that's, they just probably didn't have access to them. And if they did, they just wanted to be sure that the... They're even when tranked... Act, like, I guess, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't so, always work. Right, right, right. So it's not even that it doesn't always work. It takes a certain amount of time for the tranquilizer to, like, kick in. Yeah, yeah. And when it's approaching a baby and you shoot it with a needle, it's, it's going to flip it. the fuck out, think it's the baby, oh, oh, and just... Oh, 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 oh. You want to see a baby get whipped the fuck around <laughs> by a silverback gorilla? No. Shoot him with a tranquilizer. Oh, no, 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 he'll no, pass no. out. He will pass out after he's done bashing that baby's head into whatever the fuck oh. is around him. So, Remember when dead baby jokes were yeah, a thing? Yeah, shoot the fucking gorilla. We need to bring those back. We should bring it. Sorry, we were, we to were get going worked up, but I'm actually no, nah, dude. Like that was that was passionate, <laughs> man. I I love that. Yeah. That is what happened. They but, were saving a baby's okay. life. Here's here's the funniest thing about all of that is that uh, I just remember like a few weeks later, like the Cincinnati Zoo posted on Twitter, like, okay, stop it with the Harambe memes, please. <laughs> we are still mourning the loss of our beloved gorilla. Please stop with the memes. Yeah, and, and they- literally five minutes after that post, they got bombed. Bombarded yeah. with yeah. with 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 all the Harambe oh, yeah. memes, and Hashtag they had to rooted. shut down their account. That's how you oh, know yeah. that whoever runs that account doesn't know anything about the internet. Or exactly, people. yeah, or yeah. people in or general. People, like yeah. that's yeah. how Tell you know that that person should not have been running their social media, yeah, and so he should be fired as a social media manager. So Agreed. Yeah. Times a thousand percent. <laughs> and that goes to further prove my point. They didn't want to fucking kill Harambe. No, yeah, they did. They had to kill sure. Harambe. Yeah. Like, it wasn't a choice. Yeah. The parents should be put in prison Don't for the rest they, of their life. They should be held responsible, yes. Like, Actually, yeah. were they? Were the parents um, of the baby yeah, in the look, Harambe look, exhibit? Look that up, dude. Sued. Because they... Harambe. Stop parents saying of Harambe. Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> Harambe. One year in jail for drug. Okay, so that. So they got him for something else. But drugs? that was before that. But that was in oh. 2006. So all they got was online backlash. They only got online backlash. Apparently. Apparently. Let's look further. You're the this. reason Harambe's not here. Because they. Fuck you. They they seriously never faced charges. Fuck. Will not face charges. Will not face charges. I have another. TV okay. Oh, okay, as so, long as you got a replacement, that's all that matters. So, yeah, the, the, they got away because the internet was busy making memes and distracted people from what was really fucking happening. Yeah. Like, so we do. We is, do that a lot. Yeah. We distract with memes. Oh, so fucking dumb, man. You want something Ugh. heard on... You, you want s- some news covered up on the internet? Just put some memes out there. Make something the people want to... Like, yeah, just distract. Sometimes I feel like the it's memes are a more vision. reliable source of news than the actual news That's articles true. themselves. Well, yeah, Epstein didn't they, kill himself. They used dark humor. Yeah. Who? Epstein didn't kill himself. No, dude. He that, got, yeah, dude, that, that guy got murked. Dude, where's Tupac? Oh, yeah. That's like the best yeah. meme that's ever okay. happened, honestly. I know we did this already, but pull up Epstein's cellmate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did Wait, this. Wait, okay, okay. D- yeah. Epstein's girlfriend was just in prison like a few weeks, like, like a few months ago, wasn't she? <laughs> yeah. You, you're telling me he didn't kill him? <laughs> Look at that guy. I mean, yeah, he an loves dogs. Cop, an ex-cop. An that ex-cop got... who's roided to shit. Dude, that guy is like, 300 pounds and no fat. Yeah. Look at him. That dude would fucking squash Epstein like a fucking bug. Like squash him like a fucking testicle. And that's what <laughs> happened. That guy just strangled him to death. Like, we all know. Come on. They were not very happy mates. <laughs> Brendan Fraser. It's like they that, contain steroids. It's like, it's like that, that scene in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He's like, this guy can't be this wound up and go to college. His roommate will kill him. No, and <laughs> as, like, from someone who's, like, in the fitness industry, I already have a good amount of testosterone. Yeah. All someone has to do, like, if I was in jail right now, all uh, someone has to do is say, hey, I'm bringing you into this room. There's no mics, nothing. Uh... Your cellmate that's going to be arriving in a couple days is actually responsible for the biggest uh, child... What, what do you call that? Child... Uh, pedophile in, ring. Sex, child trafficking, pedophile pedophilia. sex trafficking ring in the yeah. entire world. And he... That we know of. Could you kill him for us? Bro, you don't even have to slide me a dollar. <laughs> I'm <laughs> fucking killing him. Do it for free, man. I will kill him for free. Dude, ask anybody if they would kill a pedophile or, you know, get justice for what a pedophile did, they'd say yes. Yeah. Even yeah. if it wasn't related to uh, them. Does a bear shit on the Pope? Yeah. And they I had the perfect so. candidate. <laughs> they had the perfect yeah, candidate. Fucking 
Like, we're not even <laughs> mad that he didn't kill himself. We just want you guys to... It's like a chick that cheats on you, and you confront her about it. She's like, no. And she's like, no, I didn't cheat. I'm like, I have evidence. I have evidence. Like, it's, it honestly sits cheated. better with me knowing that he was fucking murdered yeah. than just killing himself. Yeah. Let like, it makes me a lot happier that he was fucking, like, Here's my question, murdered, though. Probably. Like, what, what happened to his girlfriend? Uh, Ghislaine? Yeah. Or Ghislaine or Ghislaine Maxwell. Like, like, Ghislaine. Ghislaine Maxwell. <laughs> Ghislaine Maxwell. Ghislaine Maxwell. Uh, look it up. Look up the updates. Like, I she, think she. Still her fuck? Oh, okay. I want to say oh, there all it is. charges were thrown out, but like. I don't know. They're motioning for a new trial. <laughs> what do I do? You okay there, bud? <laughs> well, I don't know what Guess not. <laughs> trial. I'm leaking the little Trial. Uh, uh, Miss Proflowski, my left boob is leaking. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> it looks like, scroll up a little bit, there's a headline. Um, oh, I guess she's still on trial. They want to do a new trial, because her last one was kind of thrown okay. out. Okay, so they're just, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so she is yet to really, like, face, still, like, the prison guards the night that she does wind up in maximum security. They're just going to be sitting there, like, they sleeping at their too. desks, like, not yeah. looking at the cameras, not doing anything. Oops, yeah. I didn't see I think it. they're probably going to try to keep her alive longer, though, just to get more information out of her. Yeah, it's easier For to get sure. information I mean, out of one of them. That's probably what they're probably already doing. Probably why she's not already dead yet. There yeah. seems to be multiple multiple th like parties in our government that are against each other under wraps that are like trying to keep people alive and trying to assassinate people. And try to uh, keep people some people quiet. And no, the, the problem is, is I don't know like who's who. There's definitely yeah. a deep state and we don't know anything about it. Yeah. And there's like, a bunch of horny motherfuckers that just who, have too much money. We get these like yeah. little like details every now yeah. and then of like yeah. what's in the deep state, but we don't know. Well, yeah, you and you hear about, about people who know, know about the deep state what, too. Like, like Jim Carrey, you heard him talking about shit, he'll go on interviews and just like say some shit that people like laugh off, but he's like fucking calling out the deep state on shit. I don't know if you've seen that. Mm -mm. I have not, but oh, I, I kind of want to get a, get a glimpse on that because I, I fucking love Jim Carrey. My buddy Roman has, has always said, like, because if, if we know the information, everyone else will know the information. So yeah. they, they keep everything under the radar right now until they got all their ducks in a row. Then they're going to fucking shoot the canaries. <laughs> I think he's fucking around. I think he is fucking around, but it's like... It makes me uncomfortable. After seeing him in like the Truman Show and doing stuff like that, it makes it also seem like he might not be at the same time. Yeah, it's like a ninety percent of it's fucking fucking around and ten percent of it's like legit. It was a good one. No, <laughs> no it's it's a hundred percent a bit, but like, it's still good shit. That's funny. That's funny. I mean, a verdict. But there's I mean, still it was definitely a reference to. The Illuminati, yeah, for sure, but yeah. It, which I is mean, the deep state, which like, you know, the, well, that is what they do. They hide everything in the media and then don't show us what's actually going on. We kind of call the deep state the Illuminati. They I, figure out ways to cover it the all. The more up. research I do over the Illuminati, like, makes me feel like we just want to call it that, but it's not like actually the Illuminati. You know, I, I, th I think it's yeah. something else. Cause well, the, Illu the Illuminati's more cult-based. Yeah. The deep state's, you know, just politics. Uh, well, there's a little bit of cult aspect to yeah, it. Yeah, there is, but... You talk to... What is it? Oh, it's something Grove? It's and a cult, but What yeah. is it? It's, it's something Grove. Um, where they actually, they gather up and, like, they, they, they burn an effigy and... Well, yeah, we looked that up. The like, name of Moloch. Uh, fucking Alex Jones, he got video of that shit. Yeah. 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 yeah there's Alex like, Jones. So, no, they actually yeah, do like have, that. like, cult-like <laughs> gatherings. But, I mean, how cult-like are they? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. It's probably just, like, a fun thing. Yeah, wh you know? what's the difference Could between be. them gathering in a forest and burning an effigy and then us going down the sand bacon and getting fucked up around a campfire? Yeah, and that's kind of yeah. that's kind of, like, what we think like, is how they treat it. It's more of, like, a party than it is, yeah. like, a real, like, beneficial gathering. Right, because you're out in the middle of nowhere, you got, you got no cameras on you. Yeah. It's just, it's you guys see uh, Ricky Gervais' speech at the uh, Golden Globes? Uh -uh. Where he calls out like the pedophiles and shit? No, no, dude, but I want to. Look, look at it. I like calling out pedophiles. It's like, we this is a 10 minute speech, so I'm going to try to find like. It's the best like monologue in any like speech I've ever heard. Yeah, that was like the <laughs> 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 <It's long. laughs> you, got, you can finish it if you want, but that was like the main monologue. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good. Like, Dude, um, I'm so surprised I've never seen that. Yeah. Me too. I never saw that either. But that <sighs> is like hands down. That's solid. The like 
Mic drop right there, dude. That's <laughs> the best thing that's ever happened to Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. No, Ricky Gervais is one of the best things that's happened to Hollywood for sure. That is yeah. amazing. That dude is a fucking legend. Wow. I love him. Wow. I love that guy. Glad you... <clears throat> bless you. Showed that to us. <laughs> yeah. No, my favorite well, part, though, is like <laughs> Epstein didn't kill himself. Everybody's like... The weird part is, is that at, most of the people in there didn't laugh. They were like really uneasy when he said that. And then when he went on and said, I'm sorry, I know what you guys... He was your friend. That fucking destroyed me. I was mm-hmm. like, that's... I'm oh, sorry. Oh, fuck. You took your own plane. It was here, your didn't friend, you? but fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, like, seriously? Thank you, Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Shout out to Ricky for, for sponsoring saying this that. video. Because right. it's what we were all thinking. Yep. And yeah. that pretty much wraps it up. Let's move into Buzzsprout and close in the show. That's I, I don't think I want to leave it on a better note than that. Yeah. yeah. That's I'm cool with that. probably the best note we could leave it on. I don't think on. Grant even needs a script anymore. I don't. Because Buzzsprout, Tell us about Buzzsprout is something that can help out pretty much anybody who wants to start a podcast. It's not just a platform that gets you out there. Yeah. It's also an analytics home base for all of your material it shows you what's happening on spotify what's happening on youtube or stitcher or whatever uh freaking platform you're on buzzsprout sorry can help you (laughs) succeed in the podcast world it can help you create something great together with us it's just the two dudes well there's actually a few of us but uh dude life tv welcome to it thanks for watching and uh, thank you, Andrew, for coming in this session of uh, the podcast. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of fun catching up with you. Expect more guests in the future. Like I said uh, last week, uh, it's been a fucking rough winter, so we're finally just getting back into our groove. So uh, thank you for all your support. And uh, it's been Dude Life. Between two dudes, I'm James. I'm Grant. And I'm Andrew. Thank you for having me. I'm AJ. There's AJ, always Hi, helping AJ. us out as a Google guy. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Have a good night. We'll see you next weekend.